In this video, I'm going to show you how to replace the freezer evaporator fan shroud in your Whirlpool refrigerator. If you need to buy a new evaporator fan shroud, check out our website, partsdoctor.com, where we sell parts for all major appliance brands. For this repair, unplug or disconnect the power supply to the refrigerator. To remove the freezer door, open the freezer and locate these two bolts on the back side of the door near the upper corners. Slightly loosen them with a quarter inch nut driver, wrench, or socket. Once loose, you can lift the door off the hanging struts. To remove the drawer stop, insert a small flat blade screwdriver into the slot and gently start to pry on the locking tab. Then grab and pull to remove. You may find this tricky. Repeat the same on the other side. Now remove the top drawer by sliding it out and lifting up. Now, to remove the bottom drawer, tilt up on the front, push to the back to release the locking tabs, and lift out. This may be a little tricky. Next, locate the three electrical connectors on the ice maker and disconnect them by depressing the locking tabs. Then, using a quarter inch nut driver, remove these two screws. There it is. Now, pivot the front of the ice maker out and pull towards you to release the two retaining tabs. Now, locate the air grill and thermistor cover. To remove the air grill, insert a flat blade screwdriver in these three locations to gently pry on the locking tabs. To remove the thermistor cover, gently pry the locking tab to release, rotate, being careful as it's still connected by a wire. Now, gently slide the thermistor out of the cover. Next, remove these four screws on the evaporator cover using a quarter inch nut driver. Be careful as you'll be working around sharp edges. Then remove the cover by gently bending and pulling it out of the freezer. Be careful of the thermistor wire. Now disconnect these four electrical connectors by depressing the locking tabs. Then, using a needle nose pliers, remove these two ground wires. Next, remove the defrost thermostat off the coil by separating the locking tab. Now, using a quarter inch nut driver, remove these two screws. Be careful to not drop the screws. Then, remove the fan assembly from the freezer. Now, carefully and firmly grasp the fan blade and pull it off the motor shaft. This may require some force. Next, locate the two wire retaining clips and depress the tabs using a needle nose pliers. Now, 
Then remove the wires from the retainer. Now remove the foam and the wire from the retaining slot. Then remove the other gasket. Next, on the motor bracket, locate the two retaining tabs. Use a flat blade screwdriver to depress the tabs to remove the bracket. Then remove the motor from the housing. When shopping for a new evaporator fan shroud, be sure you're searching with the model number from the tag on your appliance to make sure you get the correct part. To install the motor, align the motor with the wires closest to the retaining slot, press the shaft and grommet into the housing, attach the other end of the grommet to the motor, and align and snap the motor bracket back in place. Then, run the wire through the retaining slot and reinstall the two gaskets. Then, place the wires back into the retainer. Next, align and push the wire retaining clips back in place. To install the fan blade, align and firmly press in place. To install the motor assembly, align the screw holes and reinstall the two screws. You may want to place something beneath the screws to catch them if you accidentally drop one. Now, Reattach the defrost thermostat to the coil, position the black part to the top and back to give clearance for the evaporator cover. Next, reattach the two ground wires. Then, reconnect the four electrical connectors by aligning and pushing until they snap back in place. To install the evaporator cover, face the white side out, insert the right side at an angle, then slightly bend the cover and push the cover back in place. Make sure to run the thermistor through this notch. Then, reinstall the four screws. To reinstall the air grill, align and push to snap the three locking tabs back in place. To reinstall the thermistor cover, run the thermistor wire through the opening and slide the thermistor into its retainer. Then align the cover to the slots, rotate and snap back in place. To install the ice maker, Insert the retaining tabs on the back of the ice maker in the slots. Rotate, align. And reinstall the two screws. Now, reconnect the three electrical connectors.
Then make sure the water fill line is properly aligned to the ice maker within the chute. With the ice maker installed, flip the arm down to turn on the ice maker. Allow 6 to 12 hours for it to cool down and to start making ice. To install the bottom drawer, first locate the locking tabs on the back that need to be hooked on the drawer slides. Then insert the back of the drawer at an angle between the upper rail and drawer slide. Now tilt the front down and position it on the slides. Then make sure the retaining tabs align to the slots. You may need to push the drawer back for the retaining tab to catch. To install the top drawer, align the rear wheels to the rails, ensuring the guide is aligned properly and push back in place. To install the drawer stop, align and firmly press in place. Repeat the same on the other side. To install the freezer door, align the hanging tabs near the bottom of the door to the slides and the bolts to the notches on the hanging struts. Once the door is seated properly, tighten the bolts. With everything put back together, plug the refrigerator in, test it out, make sure everything's working properly. And that's it for this video. If you learned something new, hit that like button. And if you enjoy fixing things and want to see more videos like this and these, please consider subscribing.